Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. You join us once more in the map editor in the cartographer where we are creating an island. Well, kind of loosely based off Jurassic Park. Last time we added some echoes of the past. These ruins, what we put on the beach. Now this is in fact the top, the very tippity top of one of the uh the the towers the oh if we get the structures maybe it's such a the, the, the thing sea forts there we are <laughs> I, I i sort of briefly forgot that it was uh one of the uh thames estuary sea forts that they have placed in the game kind of an interesting choice uh but yeah we placed the very top steve courtright in the comments did say um if you if you uh opened up uh, enough of the land down to the staircase can you walk in well kind of no because we are currently and it's hard to see but we are actually below the sea level so anything you place uh below the sea level um let's see uh, 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 there it is there it is uh so this this frothy uh sea level uh sea layer runs underneath the map and is exposed anytime you sort of dip below it um if you were to be forced here as the player um, which some people have been in the past, uh, certain builds of the game, um, l especially on low powered machines, would uh, put people underneath the map all the way at the bottom of the world and they, they would just drown before they could swim to the surface. So no, you can't push anything into the ground and then walk around it. Um, and also the, the mesh, the, the world mesh, actually in the game itself you can't punch through. So you can't have a cool underground base. Um, bit of a problem there. So this time I thought we could, well, I mean this bit's bo bothering me, it's bugging me. Just this bit here, this very bit here, it's not a big bit. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work out here and we will have to come back to this because it breaks one of the rules that I have set for us. And that is, that you can see quite far. Now I don't know if I want people to see this far for two reasons. First of all, um, it's kind of a, it breaks one of the rules um, in terms of uh, exploration. So, it's, so uh, if, you, if you have the ability to see all the way across the island, then why would you go there? You can already see what's there. Also, I don't quite know how occlusion works in the game, but if you have something between you and all the objects in the distance, then the, the computer doesn't really have to render them because they're occluded. And in fact, that's the theory. So things should run a little bit faster. It's kind of like when you're on a low power computer and you look at the ground and everything runs a lot faster, you get way more frames. So yeah, by blocking um, all the objects in line of sight, uh, you get all the treetops and stuff and it doesn't matter if they're low detail. Um, yeah, I just I think we just need a little bit more work here, but we're going to move away for the time being and we're going to come here onto this beach because we started it by adding uh, this pier. Um, we have a lot more things, stuff to do. I mean, these hills are essentially the elephant in the room. They are the elephant in the room, but we need we need to uh, tie everything together before we can work on this. So little pieces, break it off into chunks and then do it up. Break it up into chunks and do it up. Uh, the question is, is this what we want it to be? Is this uh, what we need it to be? Now, we can have a um, we can have a cool, like, two-floor two house thing going on. Uh, that, that is definitely a possibility with a ground floor all filled in. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be using the same model anywhere else. So that's... <laughs> Okay, let's let's do something with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we have this hill here, which we can use. Uh, we can raise this up a little bit. Let's do... The trouble is, if you want the player to get in um, and you block off the staircase, they might be able to crouch to get through here. Um, they might not. And you also have uh, another problem with loot and stuff spawning inside. Uh, so we have we have a few -ish issues, if uh, if you will. Um, I'm going to move this here because it's a little bit further up the mountain. It also means that we can hide more of the ship in the mountain itself. Uh, okay, cool. So let's do it like this question mark. Um, right, 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 right. Uh, we also have a rock here, which I'm just going to get rid of for the time being. Okay. 
So, if you ever played Jurassic Park Trespasser, 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 uh, Jurassic Park Trespasser, it was a very old video game, and um, it took place on Isla Sauna, and there was a lot of this sort of stuff uh, kicking around. So, a lot of uh, ruins, a lot of, I think there was like an entire ruined town. Um, for the time, it was a really good, really good game. Uh, really processor hungry, processor intensive. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount slider, and you might get tired of me saying, "Oh, keep an eye on the mount slider, Pookie." But the thing is, if you don't keep an eye on the mount slider, you are going to be very, very sad because uh, one day you will you will not check that, and then uh, you will make a spire or a valley that is not completely irreparable but is just a pain in the butt to get rid of right so i'm just gonna raise the land up to get rid of some of this um just a little bit and then what we can do is just put rocks and stuff over the top because the rocks are apparently our friends i say apparently our friends if we don't all know that rocks are our friends uh we are going to crank that up we're going to crank that up the amount up and then we're going to smooth off because we've probably just made a uh, poly polygonal mess of things. And then we're going to uh, go back to this. The amount down because I hate the fact that that is inherited. I guess the lads have no way, no control, no choice in the matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They seem decent enough people uh, from what I've read. Uh, working quite hard on the game. So... I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that they actually need to do um, beyond fix our little issues. So I'm just kind of moving this until it feels right. Uh, what I don't want to do is have it so it's kind of impossible to get on, into or around, but also not so much that it kind of looks out of place. Very, very tricky thing to do. Um, because we're just we're just using bits that may in the next update just get simply removed and uh, the amount slider is still fairly far down so I'll bring that up around there that's okay uh, objects objects everywhere except right in our pants we're gonna use the door structure why our pants it's a good measuring tool um, okay cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Q go down a little bit Okay, so I think crouching, you should be able to get through there. I don't know about here. It doesn't matter too much here. Uh, I suppose we could if we hit terrain and then raise and lower, lower, change the size down. So we could probably just go and click it through a little bit um, into here so that people can get in, maybe. But it's, it's not a priority, uh, that certainly. Um, I suppose we could also do that there, uh, maybe through here. What I don't want, oh, of course, yeah, what I don't want is too much stuff. Um, too much stuff, too much of the actual ship showing. So we're going to smooth this off a little bit, but we're going to have some triangles. It's, it's one of those things we're just not going to be able to get rid of. Uh, okay, we're going to get rid of this. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. This is going to be one of those things we, we desperately have to test. Um, no two ways about it. Uh, it mm, <laughs> can you see a problem here? I can see a problem here. So if a player leaps off the top of this hill and gets to here, boop, what's going to happen? Are they going to get stuck? That is actually a legitimate question. Are they going to get stuck? If they fall down and get pressed up against that railing, are they going to get stuck? I think the answer is uh, absolutely probably. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to use Clef 6 as a band-aid for that particular issue. We're going to hit R to rotate, go up with the green bit, press T, push down, push down, push down, push back, push forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward. Uh, we're at the gravel pit. Cool. So we are... Can we... Mm, rotate that round. Uh, 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 uh. Is that better that way? Maybe. Uh, press T. So we're transforming. And... 
Hmm, maybe, maybe. It's something to work with, certainly. Uh, I think we can throw some rocks in there. Definitely. Yeah, I think I like the... Uh, I like the way you move? No, I like the way that's w working for us. Let's have it so it's kind of out, so it looks like it's actually part of the world. Right, okay. Clicking the train, clicking on objects, because what we don't want is um, anything to uh, get stuck. There, big rock. Hello. You are a big, big rock. Um, then we're going to rotate. R. We're going to move that around. Press T. Transform. We're going to bring that out. We're going to rotate, and we're just kind of just kind of sneak it in there in such a way that uh, I don't think a player could then get stuck in the in the world. Well, eat. No, that's the wrong thing. Okay, cool. And we'll do the same thing here. Um, I just, I just don't want a situation where a player is like, "Oh, hey, I've been exploring your island, and now I'm stuck, and I can't get out, and I had to, had to out a four, and then I was sad, and then I went and ate all the animal crackers, and then I just I accidentally bit my fingers, and now it's all your fault." And I'm like, "Oh no, I am a terrible person. I don't think a player could get stuck in there. Uh, maybe there." Okay, we'll do something with this. We were using a small rock. Terrain objects, obviously. It's not obvious, but it's uh, obvious to us because we are seasoned and professional uh, map makers. Map maker. Map maker. Uh, we're, we're seasoned and professional map makers. Um, you and I and everybody else. Uh, oh, we beansed it. But we beansed it in such a way that it actually works. I've let go of it and now. We'll never get that out. Um, but now, if a player skids down the mountain, they'll get to there and they won't get stuck. Oh, but when does they get underneath? Well, I think well, it's fine. You can't see anything under here. There's nothing broke. If you do creepy crawl under there, then, well, that's up to you. Is, is it not? Is it not? Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Uh, pff, probably not. Uh, depends who's asking, really. Let's throw this rock here to hide that little blob of stuff from the boat. So now we have... Uh, it's looking a lot better already. I mean, we've got this sort of railing thing, but that could be part of the veranda for all anyone knows. Yeah, so we've taken a boat, we've jammed it into the ground, and now we've got a house. <gasps> Whoa! That's really impressive. I hear no one say, well, thank you uh, very much. Uh, I kind of want to use pine trees here. But in order to use pine trees, we're going to need to know how many pine trees we've got in order to play with. Uh, the, the, the. Okay, so we're going to hit terrain objects because I can see we've got something selected and I don't want to move it around. However, uh, we've got this, this kind of walkway through here. This passage, if you will. Oh, we could probably do is bring the... Bring the um, Bring the water in at least part way into here to make it a little bit more watery, watery, wetter. Uh, I've got some ideas for here. We could put some pine trees in and then just kind of not too many. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Let's do. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Because we know uh, with the pines, we have a limit to how many we can use. So what we'll do is use the ficuses uh, in their place. But when we start putting the palm trees down, then we will be able to um, use them more intelligently without completely beansing up our entire island. Oh, look at that. I actually really like that. That works quite well. Just the way it is. Uh, yeah, that does actually work quite well the way it is. I might move it back a little bit. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if someone were able to jump on the rocks and then jump on the roof. Uh, that's definitely a possibility with the way we've repositioned everything. It kind of uh, begs to be uh, jump on the roof and then you can walk around. You've got the shade from the tree and everything. Yeah, it works quite well. Works quite well. So good. Good, 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 good. We have made a house. That's really quite good. Um, 
we're going to need to dress it. So, Vyagas Tree, Vyagas Tree, you are doing work. Gonna, it's going to be said, it's going to be said every time we let go, it pops onto one of the rocks in the background. And there's a danger. Um, it's to do with the camera angle, I feel. Yeah. So you got to keep an eye on that. Because if you just let go and then start clicking and dragging around the screen, you might beans your in your own uh, work. So try not to try not to mess it up too badly. Um, I think actually, um, no, I might leave that there. Because uh, there's, there's the smaller ficuses you can chop, chippity chop down. The big ones not so much. So what we'll do is we'll put you there maybe. Yeah, still a little rotate. Just uh just to make it look a little less like it's been positioned. Uh let's bring you forward a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to make um an island look completely au naturel. Very difficult. Because well you are essentially just placing items around. And it's part of the human condition to want to create patterns in the world what we have created for ourselves uh good so i'm gonna put these down a shoreline rock which uh it, at first it seems like oh why did you oh, what did you do dead well it gives us um do i, do I, do I want to put it there because we got these rocks offshore anyway and we got the rocks on the beach so this side of the beach is all rocky and this side of the beach is not it's not not by uh, accident that we've done it this way. We're always going to do it this way. I'll leave. Usually, I put rocks and stuff in these things. So you want to find broken rocks, you look for the rock pile. But we're not going to do that here. Uh, we'll do that later when we put all the um, consumables in. What we're going to do is we're going to be looking for the small rocks. Small rocks. It's a small rock life. There we go. Are we happy with the shape of the beach? Are we happy with the shape of the beach? I think... I think I am, actually. I think I'm very happy with the shape of the beach. Okay, fine. So what we'll do is we'll leave that there. Uh, we can throw in a big rock. Yeah. Yep. Uh, rotate it around. There's T. Back a little bit. There we go. There we go. So it's just another thing that you can jump on. Let's go boom, under the water. Let's have a little look, see what's going on down here. And of course, the uh, the camera speeds up because it's not touching any objects or close to any object influence. Boom. Okay, right. What I was looking for is this bit here. Witchcraft. This bit here. Um, because the apron of this island isn't that big. The island is huge. It's a massive island. It's very, very big. Uh, okay, cool. So what we're doing is we're placing these little rocks around the outside, around the outside, because we're about to put some palm trees down. Um, and what I want to do is do it in such a way that we've got some broken rock, which gives us a little uh, little hole, a little place for the palm trees to legitimately exist. So, uh, palm. Palm one. Hello. So the palms can all be chopped down. Of course they can. Um, I don't mind that. I mean, it's the thing that's, that people are going to do. But in order to um, deforest the entire island, do you? it takes a lot. It takes a lot. I would imagine that if anyone wants to live here, they might take out a few, but I should imagine they would actually go on a run to another island uh, in order to gad, gather, gather um, fuel and things rather than chop everything down on their own. Home. Uh, this this will be fine. This little third palm tree, but boop, top disappears. Well, you know that's the thing. It's a thing that happens. We'll throw in another palm here, in amongst the rocks, the rocks, the rockery, the rocks. So immediately, the beach is starting to look a little bit more like a beach, surprisingly. And these uh, these big big old rock boys are uh, acting as keys for the trees. Key trees, tree keys. Ah, tree, tree, tree cheers. Tree, tree cheers. 
for the keys and the rocks. Um, okay, so we'll do this the other side. I like putting them together as pairs, if you haven't actually noticed. I, I do like that. Uh, that leaf is going to clip through that trunk. That is just shoddy work. Right, now it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, you can be on your own. You can be lone tree. Lone tree next to a hill. Uh, Multi-tree hill. Cool. So we've got that. Yeah, it's beginning to look a lot more au naturel. Good. There is a, there is a thing... What, what we could do is just throw in a ton of foliage. Like, literally just cover this place in trees. But I'm not entirely sure that would work very well on machines that have uh, limited processing capacity. That would be ill-advised, perhaps, per se, perchance. Um, so, okay, we're back here. We're going to go structures, we're going to hit and train and objects to make sure we haven't actually um, selected anything in the background. And we are going to go to... I like C4 bridges. They're usually quite useful. C4 bridge, make a pattern in sand. Okay, cool. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Make a pattern in the sand. And that immediately leaps onto something else. Bum, bum. So let's go under the world. To the terrifying other world. There we go. Yeah, the, the Seafort Bridge. Now we need to be careful that we do have the right things selected. There it is. There you are. Is um, is a tricksy girl to use. Very tricksy. Uh, mostly because when you drag it in, it, it tends to drag in just underneath the island mesh and is a p p p p p p p p pain. Pain. Bit of a pain. I want to use this in a very subtle way. I don't want there to be lots and lots of paths everywhere. But I do want um, just a little hint of a path. Like, hey, hey, you know you can go this way, right? This way. Oh, look, there's the building and there's a legit reason to be there and everything. Uh, so, objects. So, yeah, you put these in everywhere. You could literally create walkways around the island. But it just doesn't it wouldn't feel natural. It wouldn't feel natural. Um, and the other thing they have done, because the, for some re weird reason, originally these things grew grass on them. Can you imagine that? A walkway with grass on it? Doesn't make sense. What we can do is hit up terrain and hit raise and low. Uh, hit low. Uh, change the meta. And then a little bit further down than that. And then click, click, click. Yes. Reveal a little bit more. And then just depress the ground up further. Okay, yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We... Nice. Nice. Then we can lower that through there. Good. Hit the smoothing tool, because we kind of need to. Uh, let's crank that up a little bit and smooth that off, and we'll lose some of that subtlety, but... Cool, brilliant, 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 brilliant. So now we've got this. Uh, let's click on object. Uh, got this little walkway up to our up to our house in the. Uh, yeah, that actually works quite well. That works really, really, really well. Yes. Um, of course, there will probably be some like tires or something that spawn here between the trees. Because I think that's where loot tends to spawn uh, tires or barrels. Uh, there will also be stuff that spawns inside in terms of crates and things. So, yeah, yeah it's got a wheel. What about, what about it, big whoop? Want to fight about it? <laughs> Want to fight about it? Steppy dog. Uh, oh, it's still a bit, hmm. Probably should have smoothed that off inside. It's a little, a little touch. But one that people might appreciate a little bit more if they don't walk in there. Make the effort to go inside and just see it all a little bit rugged. Cool. Right. Fine. That is about where we want it. So I'm going to hit up another rocket boy. Uh, because there's going to be so much loot on this freaking island, I don't think 
uh, we need to uh, throw in too much in the way of extra loot for people. Uh, maybe some lanterns and stuff. Uh, if they used properly, I guess. Uh, yeah, there, there, there are things that we can do. So I'm just putting this down uh, just to break up the beach a little bit more. Difference between the bre uh, beach and the beach front. So uh, I I'd, I'd still like the idea of splitting the palms away from the deciduous trees, uh, only because it just it just feels better. So is this flat? 100% flat? No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, fine. All right. Uh, we'll get train objects, and then we'll go back to trees, and then we'll go back to uh, let's bring this bad boy out. Um, this way, please. I think, are these two the same? No, they're not. Hmm, interesting, I'm just going to check something. So if we drag that down, is that the same orientation? Or does it orient, orient to the camera? Uh, no, I think it's the same orientation. All right. Oh, all right. I thought it might change with the camera angle, but I don't think it does. Fine. Well, fine. So we'll do this. Now, we've got this big old rock here. But what we have also is this kind of green area, which I have grass and things on it. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we'll do this. And we'll click on this bad boy. Objects. Right. Oh, wrong one. Oh, and this one. Which is a way of getting some more tree for your buck. More bang for your buck. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, we'll oh, kind of want to rotate it out on the beach. Press T, bring him back. And then see what kind of mess we've got here. It's kind of a mess. It's not perfect. Then it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, yeah, we do need to bring him back on this side. Bring him back and then make, make him part of the tour. Put him in the tower. All right. Uh, good. Excellent. That's a little bit better. Cool. And then obviously because we've done that, we're going to hit that, that and then we're going to grab a Kura and we're just going to slam you in around this area. Ah, uh, witchcraft. I can't see what I'm doing. Now I can. Cool. Uh, a little bit further in the ground. I want you, and I want to rotate you a little bit more vertical because you've snapped to the uh, to the terrain. Okay, Let's move you back a little bit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we are now dressing this part of the island. Um, oh wow, yeah, we should probably put some pines down just through here, maybe. Uh, uh I see how are people going to get up here I think oh, probably along the spine we're going to have to test the island just to see how climbable these hills are before we can really address uh, address how well uh, we can get up and down certain things but yeah that feels a lot better that feels a lot better um, in terms of that's now a sort of that's a vignette, and that's also a vignette, but now they're, they're tied together. Uh, this area is... well... I mean, this area just is. It's got everything you need in it. Um, and then there's this area on the other side. So you could say underground labs and landing sites and... We're, we're working on it. We're making it. We're making it. We're doing it, Peter. Uh, okay. So this is going to change. Also depending on... Oh, the tide, so there's going to be a bit of a draw there. Cool. Uh, we could probably do throw some smaller plants in. Uh, let's do this. Do it. Why not? All right. Okay, we'll do it. So we'll do that. And uh, do a rotate. Cool. We'll do that. Uh, not. Oh, should we throw a nana in? I think we probably should throw a nana in. Let's throw a nana in here. Cool. Just uh, get some ground coverage going. Yep. Uh, trees. I think, I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, train objects. We used a minimum, a maximum, a maximum of three pines. Uh, what we can do is get some 
height in on the action. So we are looking for the pines. Uh, we got pine one. It's a big pine tree. Uh, I think here maybe. So if we rotate, press T, bring it down. Uh, pine two. I think what could do is put it here, down, and rotate. There we go. Give it a little canter maybe. Um, that's okay. Point three. Do we want to use one, two, and three? Let's sort of move the camera back. See what we're dealing with. Yeah, I think what we could do is use it here. Remember to press T, drop it down in the ground a little bit. Uh, do a little rotate. Because I always put it down in the ground a little bit just in case if it's on a hill, then you might see the base um, just being opened up. So it's going to do a few things. If a player comes along and lights a fire, uh, let's go down to about player height. There we go. So if a player comes along and lights a fire, uh, they are going to see the underside of these trees lit up. Real nice, real nice. Um, ficuses and pines and stuff. It also gives us some verticality, but typically when a player is running around, they're not really looking up at the sky. Unless they're doing something for YouTube or recording a music video in the game or something. Uh, what they're tending to do is after they explore the island, they're just literally running from point to point. So a lot of this is making it so that when someone is holding down shift, they are getting the best or most um, out of the game without having to look around too much at all the stuff you've created. It's kind of a curious thing. You're making a map for people who... And once they've been and looked at it for the first five, ten minutes, they're not really going to be looking around anymore. Um, kind of sad, but hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, that is... That is actually working out to be quite good, yeah. So what we've done is we've put in this house, and then we've put nature around it. And it's, uh, it's actually working out quite well. It's working out quite well, most well. I think with the screen of pines, the very few pines that we've actually allowed ourselves, um, and the openness of the beach, uh, with the palm trees as well, and the deciduous trees, uh, we've done quite a lot with fairly limited resources, I'm gonna be honest. We haven't felt the need to slam stuff down. And of course, if you've got enough processor power, this will be covered in grass anyway, so it adds just another layer of texture. Good. Excellent. You know what? I'm gonna leave this as a short one because, well, because this week is very, very busy. Very, very incredibly busy. Um, so, if you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe, and if you do subscribe, Click the little bell because that is going to give you notifications when videos go live and you know what? I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>